Welcome back to Plurinderity. This video is part of a video series about how to print a PCB. Last video we learned all about how to print the actual circuit and in this video we will go ahead and take a look on how to solder, how to do the reflow soldering with the Volterra V1. So right away after we printed the circuit board and it was all cured and baked we go ahead and select our actual reflow material so that's again a paste comes in one of those little boxes in one of those little tubes and you select the material and then you go right ahead by inserting the tube in the dispenser and finally go ahead and mount the dispenser before you do that of course you have to fix the board on the printer again and of course you need to do a bunch of reference runs before you can go ahead and actually try to move to the features like move to the pads the software is showing you which feature you're moving next and you have to use your keys to move the printer head exactly on this position so the printer can be sure to be at the exact position he needs to be to print the pads because you have to imagine you move the board between actually printing the board and printing the reflow material. You see here again it's also doing this reference with this little needle with this little measurement head and now we go ahead and attach the actual dispenser and we will go ahead and print the actual pads, the actual reflow material, the solder material which we will later on use for the reflow soldering of our components. The printer here is working pretty quickly, this is real time, that's only 100% speed, no time lapse or whatever. So you can see it's pretty fast and you can see it's doing it in very little, very thin layers. That's something you can adjust and it's also depending on the age of your material and the temperature of your material and also on the position of your board. For this position you normally do this reference run to have this exact like height map of your board but you can see here that it's getting thinner and thinner as more as the printer head moves to the left so I don't know what was the exact reason here but something very handy is you can just select certain features you're not sure about and reprint them and add some extra soldering material of course you can also adjust the flow within the software but anyway it's working and it's a bit of adjustment a bit of try and error to finally get a surface like this. Now you can see the little bit darker surface as the reflow material. You can see me here mounting the components, in this case LEDs manually. I'm only adding two LEDs because this was a test run and I only wanted to see how it's working at all. Next thing is once you place the components, you hit the software and go for the actual reflow process. You can see the temperature is going up to 140 degrees holding this temperature and then just about hitting this temperature going up to 200 degrees which is actually the maximum soldering temperature. So for any kind of soldering no matter if it's reflow or manual soldering this temperature just beneath 200 degrees is the right temperature to go for otherwise you will damage the actual circuits the printed circuits. Afterwards we will have this cool down phase which will take quite a while before you can go ahead and have your finished board. But let's take a look on the actual process. Here we see our LEDs and now we can see in real time, it's not a time lapse, how the solder will flow since the heat gets applied and you can see the solder moving a bit and finally snapping to the components. I think that's the most cool process ever if you have this soldering through reflow without having a solder iron around or something like this. And the mind-blowing thing is that you can all do all this on one machine. So we just printed here and now we just went ahead with doing the reflow process on the hotbed in within the printer. So super cool to have the whole process on one machine and all the magic like printing the circuit, applying the solder paste and doing the actual reflow and also drilling. So drilling is something for the next video, so stay tuned. This one was a short one about the reflow process. I hope you liked it. Make sure to be subscribed to get all those new content about drilling with the Volterra V1 and also a bunch of other experiments we will run with this printer. Thanks for watching and see you next time.